Are you looking for employment? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you have your high school diploma or GED? Yes, ma'am. Okay, awesome. Lakia Funderburg is a senior youth advocate for the mayor's Office of Employment Development. Awesome. She and others are going door to door in Baltimore, letting people know they can help them get jobs. She succeeded in getting two people at this house to sign up to come to a career center. 19-year-old Kepler Gordon says he lost his job after being in a car accident and needs help. This is the first time someone has came to me publicly and, you know, wanted to help me. You know, that was a nice thing. Program manager Carrie Owings is in those 8 a.m. meetings with the mayor and other agencies at police headquarters, where they discuss ways every agency can make a difference. He says going directly to the residents is the way to bring people in. If they like you, um, they'll come and see you. You know, if you can tell them what they need or let them know that you can help them get where they want to be, they'll respond. In this West Baltimore neighborhood, there are few prospects or ideas about how to make lives better. Owing says this initiative can change that and help the city at the same time. When people are productive, there's less time for anybody to, to commit crime. People have hope. Um, and, and that's what we're trying to build in people, the, the hope in the future. And you can come and see me. We do oh, open. Right here as well. Okay. We do open orientation every Wednesday at 10. You can just come in and ask for me, Ms. Funderburg. So far, the Mayor's Office of Employment Development has signed up more than 2,500 people, people who will come into their centers to get started on building a career. For more on those career centers and where they are located, you can go to our WBAL TV app. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News. All right. Thank